Hey guys, well, guess what? I got myself a headset, finally. Yeah, I know, I've been needing one of these for a very, very long time, and I'm sorry that you guys had to put up with the cruddy microphone I was using before for so long. Really, I don't know why I waited so long, but yeah, something I really needed, not, not, just, not just for a big improvement in quality, but also because, um, well, as some of you may know, the reason that it takes so long for me to get through my Let's Plays sometimes is simply because um, it takes so long to edit the audio and stuff on um, when recording with that old microphone because it records my voice so poorly that what I it's like I have to boost the audio and audacity and then I have to listen through the entire track, raising and lowering various parts that are too quiet or too, um, you know, like, too quiet or too loud and, like, really sharp and stuff, and, well, yeah, it's like, see, obviously, this, now, this headset is obviously recording my voice, like, very, very clearly, so even if there's, like, a point where I talk lower, it might be a little bit quieter, but it's still clear, and it's still audible, so, with this, um, headset, I basically won't have to... Oh wow, that was bad. Um, w w with this headset, I basically won't have to do really any of the um, like overly frustrating audio editing. Like maybe, I like maybe I'll just have to make like a couple small tweaks here and there. I mean, obviously, it's like I'll still need to, I'll still need to do things like, you know, lowering my voice. I'm not well, not lowering my voice. I mean, lowering my uh, the game audio when I speak and you know stuff like that. But that, that's a very simple and basic procedure anyway. It's the easiest part of the audio editing to begin with. And I probably won't really have to do anything with my voice. Like, I, like, the, like this voice track is being uploaded unedited. Like, I, like just, just for like testing purposes, I'm not going to edit my voice track at all in this video. So, um, you know, you guys can tell me if it's okay that way or if I need to like raise it at certain points. So, you know, I would, I would appreciate a comment on that, <laughs> but I, I feel like it's probably going to come out okay. But, yeah, I am really happy with this thing, and, well, obviously, as I've said, it's going to make editing so much easier now, and you know what this means? I am going to start powering through my current Let's Plays. Like, I'm going to get Bulletstorm done, I'm going to get Jumper 2 done, uh... I'll get I want to be I, I don't want to be anything too done eventually. I mean I'm still basically at the start of that game. That, that's going to be a very long let's play no matter how you cut it. Plus I want to be the guy stuff may still take some a little bit more time than other things just because of you know how much uh, how much stuff I actually have to like cut out and how much actual video editing I have to do on them. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah. Um, also, I'm going to be Let's Playing the Nathan Drake Collection very soon, and I would like to, uh, mention something. Oh, I'd like to mention something about that. Um, see, I was debating about whether or not I wanted to Let's Play them blind, and, well, I, I decided that I wanted to play through them first. It's like I wanted to play through the games first, because I've been wanting to play them for years and years and years, and I wanted to play through and enjoy them first before I did a Let's Play, because obviously with the lengthy audio editing I have to do, a Let's Play would really, really slow things down, and, you know, it'd probably take me, like, months to finish the games, and I really did not want it to, um, you know, I really did not want to uh, do that. But, <laughs> now that I, so basically I, I went ahead and I played through and completed the first Uncharted, and I played about five chapters into Uncharted 2, but, you know, then I got this headset and I just got to thinking, well, you know, now that I got this, I might as well just do the rest of them, uh, quote-unquote blind. I say quote-unquote because a really long time ago, um, I actually watched full playthroughs of the Uncharted games. And, uh, it's like, yeah, I mean, I watched full playthroughs of them a really long time ago because I was curious about what happened in them, and, you know, I never had a PlayStation 3, so I could never play them myself, and so I, I just basically opted to watch full playthroughs of the games, but, eh. Oh, well, wait, I'm doing that wrong.
There we go. But anyway, see, even though I did see full playthroughs of these games, it's like, um... Oh, oh, wait, I see what I'm doing wrong there. Wow, I can't believe I'm failing at this level. This level's easy, but, um... Yeah, see, even though I did watch full playthroughs of these games years ago, see, I'm still going to kind of consider it blind, just simply for the fact that, well, I don't remember hardly anything from the games. It's like, I do remember some, you know, key story elements and, you know, some, like, areas and things, but I don't really remember what to do gameplay-wise. So, as far as gameplay goes, it's like 95% blind, so... I think I'll consider them blind. Well, obviously, Uncharted 2 will be mostly blind, because I actually have played, like, about a fifth into the game on that. So, that obviously won't be blind at the start, but from there on, I'll consider it blind, or mostly blind. But anyway, yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Oh, and also, um... Yeah, uh, me and Spirit um, recorded through um, the rest of I I Want to Be the Guy Gaiden the other day, but, well, yeah, those videos turned out really, really poorly, and obviously they would have taken hours upon hours upon hours of audio editing, and since he's going to be visiting today, and since I have my new headset, um, we've both decided that we're actually going to re-record and um, redo Act 1-2 one, two, um, one, two and 1-3. One, on I Want to Be the Guy Guidance, so yeah, the file will be different than the one you're seeing so far because I'm gonna restart and replay level level one one, and then we'll we'll redo level um one two and one three today, and probably get it all done in one video because now that I'm actually in practice for the game and stuff, it's you know it's actually a whole lot easier. <laughs> but well, I guess that's pretty much about all all I have to say right now. Well, I guess I could say what this game is, actually. I was going to mention this at the end. Uh, this game is Cubosphere. It's a little, um... Well, it's actually a... It's it's basically a fan game that's based off of a, um... It's based off a PlayStation 1 game called Kula World. And it's the same kind of... It's the same kind of game where you roll around as a ball on platforms and you collect keys and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a fun little game. I'm usually not big on puzzle games, but... Cubosphere is actually a pretty fun little game that captured my attention. Also, I'm... I, I think I might have ruined my chances of getting that key, but... <laughs> oh well. But anyway, yeah. Um, Cubosphere community is kind of small, but... You, you guys can, like, go and check out the game if it looks interesting and stuff. Uh, one of my friends actually introduced the game to me, and... Well... I'll be honest, he really wishes that the game could uh, have more exposure and stuff, which is actually one of the reasons that I decided to um, um, use, you know, use the game for this update video. Just give Cubosphere a little bit more exposure, but really, I think I pretty much uh, screwed myself here. Oh well. I guess that's it for now, so yeah, see you guys in the re-recording of I Wanna Be The Guy Gaiden, and everything that comes after it. Well. Later.